lovelies this is my march it was march was it yeah <laughs> my march favorites um happy april fool's day um i don't know when this will be uploaded it might be uploaded today or tomorrow i'm not sure because i'm uploading a video now so don't know um i'll get cracking on with my monthly favorites for you all Okay, so I have got a few beauty makeup bits and pieces that I have been loving this month. One of the first ones is I've been obsessed with painting my nails um, as normal, but I really like painting them pink at the moment. They're this orangey colour at the moment by Topshop and it's, what is it called? Country Blumpkin? I think it's called something like that, but yeah. The two that I have been wearing quite a lot this month are Off The Shoulder by Essie and In Stitches by Essie. This is Off The Shoulder and then that is In Stitches. So I'll just let those forecast. Um, but they're really nice, like really, they're both really nice pinky colours. Um, I just feel really springy at the moment and I just want the weather to get warm because I'm really excited for spring. So I've been wearing spring clothes and instead of like dark wintry things and like uh, bright nails and bright lips and stuff like that. One of the other things I've been loving is I got an order from, where was it from? Fragrance Direct um, and I showed that in one of my other videos and I got this blusher by Dainty Doll and it looks like that. The number of the, sorry about any noise in the background neighbours drilling and all sorts of going on today um, but I'll show you what it looks like I've got it on now, I've just filmed a spring makeup tutorial so that will be up soon as well and that's the look that I'm wearing now um, but it's this blusher um, and it's really nice and it's got like a pink shimmer in it and I've really been enjoying wearing it I just think it's so pretty and I don't know, I just really like it, it's quite subtle but you can still see that you've got a bit on um, so I've been loving that and then I this is like later on in the month, in the past like week or so of the month, but I've literally worn it every single day, every single chance I could. And it's the Rimmel London Apocalypse. And I have it on now. Um, that's what it looks like. It's getting out of its tubey. Oh my God, my phone is being so noisy. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's really nice. I think it, is it about six or seven pounds? I can't quite remember how much it is. Um, but I'm really loving this. I absolutely love the colour. I think they've brought out more colours. I'm going to go and buy another one today, I think. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It goes on really nice. It's like a lip cream kind of gloss thing. Uh, but yeah, I've really been enjoying it. And I really like the packaging. Um, boyfriend helped me pick this colour. And he picked a good one. I was going to go for a nude one, but he did pick a good one. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And then the last beauty product I have been loving this month. Um, I've had this for quite a while, but I only ever used it a few times. And I always end up just going back to my sleek or MAC palettes. But I've been using this quite a lot. In fact, I used this palette in my tutorial that's coming up. And it's a Smoky Eyes Collection 2000. It's a Smoky Eyes one. Um, it was only like, I think, like a fiver. Okay, and those are the colours, if I can, if I can see you, um, and I really like them all, I think they're really, really nice, so I've been using this literally like every day, um, along with the, <laughs> the Apocalypse, um, what colour is the Apocalypse in? Apocalyptic, I think, 303, there you go, so now you know. Um, but yeah, I've been absolutely loving putting this on every day. I've been using it when I go on a night out and I've just used like the black and the silver. Um, but yeah, I've been really impressed with it and I've really been liking it. Okay, so that is it for my makeup bits. I've only got one hair item this month <clears throat> and this is the Lee Stafford Volume Mousse Double Blow Non Sticky No Crispy for a tower of oomphness and body to die for. Um, so it's like a mousse, it is a mousse, and then you shake it and then it's got the little pink bit at the top and you push it and I use a big handful in my hair every time I blow dry and it gives it a little bit more volume, stops it like being flat to my head. I have used it today, 
but my hair is just disobeying today. Look at it, it just doesn't want to do as it's told. Um, but yeah, I have been using this every time I've washed my hair. I've really been enjoying it. I think it's about five pounds, you can get it in boots. Um, yeah, but I've really been liking it. It's really nice and I love all the packaging is pink. I don't know why, um, but Lee Stafford is one of my favorite brands of hair, majumbo stuff anyway. So yeah, really been enjoying this. Right, okay, I have two body bits um, to show you today. Um, I had to stop myself from using my Soap and Glory one, my Soap and Glory body wash, and my one from Body Shop, and that's in Grapefruit. I literally had to stop myself from using them, and I got this bought for me for Christmas from my sister. Um, I have shown you this before, I believe and this is the original source of Elena milk and a raspberry shower gel I'll put this up the other day because I've got a whole basket of things I've got to use like body stuff and I was like I think I used to love this and I put it in the shower I was like it smells amazing it's a bit wet because I've just obviously got out of the shower it just it smells like raspberries and just smells sweet and oh like sugary and I absolutely love the original source um make of like a body shower gels and stuff i really really like this i'm gonna i'm really tempted to go and buy some more of those shower gels today i really want to try the mint one but i've got so many i've got to use i might as well just stick to what i've got to use and then go and buy a new one i mean i've absolutely been loving this um i know you can get them for like a pound sometimes when they're on offer i think they're like 1.99 or something normally but my sister bought me this for christmas because i literally got through a whole tube in like two weeks because I just, I just love it. It's so nice, so yes. Yeah. Yep, and then I have the Sopa Glory Flake Away um, sugar scrub thing. It's in a pot like this. And then that's what the stuff looks like inside. As you can see, I've hit the bottom. Me and my mum have both been using this. I use it every time before I go on a night out. Um, I literally shave my legs, uh, have my shower, put my hair in like um, some type of like, I don't know, like a deep conditioner or like a purple shampoo thing, like toner and leave it for a while. And while that's sitting in my hair, I get this stuff. I sit over the edge of my bath. I run some um, warm water into the bottom of the bath and then I use like a little scoop thing, scoop all over my legs, shave them um, with this <laughs> and then I have been literally getting an exercised amount, put it on one leg and rubbing it in circular motions and as you do that it gets rid of all of that dead horrible scaly skin and your legs are so soft it is unbelievable. I literally am obsessed with this, um, I absolutely love it and even my mum was quite impressed with it and um, my mum's never used anything um, to exfoliate her legs before, um, looked in quite like rough but we've both been really impressed with this and I really really like it and I would recommend this product to anybody um, yeah it's really good and it was about I got it on an offer in boots I think it's like five six pounds or something I can't quite remember all the prices for everything but yeah I was really impressed with this okay so I have a few random bits to show you this month the first thing is this. this is the 10 minute solution belly butt and thigh blasters um, I've been wanting to tone up I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier which hasn't gone very well because I've been bought loads of chocolate for Easter oops um, but I am trying trying to eat a bit better um, and I've really been enjoying doing this um, I do 10 minutes or like I do this DVD at least like the whole DVD at least like once a week um, and there's five 10 minute workouts um, and I've, I just absolutely love them um, they're really easy to do and you get this it's called a sculpting loop it's like a big elastic band and what you have to do is you either have to put it around your arms or you put it like around your legs or like your ankles or your thighs um, and it's it really does tone you up you can feel that it is working um, I've been really impressed with it and I got it for I think it was like two quid in the blockbusters closing down sale so i was really impressed with this another random favorite of the month which is obviously a fashion thing is my jeffrey campbell's i've shown you these twice in other videos i think 
um, or a few more times than that if there's been out for the days, I'm not sure. But I literally, if there's been an opportunity to be able to wear these, I will wear them. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and they are really comfortable to walk in and everybody knows I'm not very good at walking in heels, I much prefer my flat shoes, um, my trainers, and <laughs> my docks, um, but I've been really happy and comfortable wearing these. Um, so yeah, and I got these in a sale. Um, they were meant to be in the office sale, but then office was selling them on eBay and I got them for £19.50 when they should be like £120 full price. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with them. They're really comfortable to walk in. The sole's really weird. I know they're dirty, but it's like this... The only way I can explain it is, you know like a school rubber that you rub out pencil with? That's what this feels like. So it's really weird, but they're really comfortable to walk in the heels. That's where the heel is just there, so the heel's not so big quite small but yeah I'm really impressed with those I will get it up on my phone um, if you watched my 50 facts about me um, video you've probably already seen this I probably already know but I'm obsessed with dinosaurs I used to go fossil hunting when I was little I've always loved dinosaurs and I found the Jurassic Park game on my phone and I am obsessed. You build like your own Jurassic Park, have your dinosaurs, collect money and stuff like that. I'll see if it let me show you. It's quite loud. It's loading. I got a text. Come on, load. So like this is my little Jurassic Park. Let's zoom in, it's my Triceratops. And then you just have like loads of like zoo animals and you collect money from them and I don't know I just absolutely love this game and I really struggle to put it down and then the other one I've been playing a lot um, only like the past few days is this one um, and it's quite good but I've read reviews on it and apparently you have to use real money towards the end of the game to like buy things and build up your city so I wasn't very impressed with that but yeah Anyway guys, that was my monthly favourites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. There wasn't quite as much to show you as normal. Sorry if I babbled a bit. It's an awful habit, you all know I like to talk. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what your favourite thing was that I showed in this video or, you know, whatever. Or what your favourite things are that you've been using a lot this month. I'd love to hear your recommendations on, like, beauty products or, like, foundations and stuff like that. Or, like, uh, body products or apps. I'd love to hear about more apps because I'm always downloading new apps. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to leave that below. Also, don't forget to subscribe below as well because that way you can stay updated with my videos. Thank you very much for watching my lovelies and I'll see you soon. Bye!